Hi everyone, in this tutorial, I am going to do simple water tower tank 3D model in Blender. So let's do it. Click here and I'm going to change the viewport shading. This one is okay. Then I'm going to give some clarity. Yeah, it's fine. So then press yes. Scale like this. After that. Go into edit mode and alt z to x-ray mode select the top vertex and press g or lock the axis the axis so this is fine and here mode press g Lock the z-axis. Okay, finally this one. So then I'm going to reset this transform. So so see, there's uh, uh, going to reset this scale. So Control A and select scale. So it's now resetted. So uh, then I'm going to move a little bit like this. After that, add modifier and give mirror modifier. Just turn off. So now I'm, the location is. 1 minus 1 1.8 so i'm going to reset this one also so control a and clear the location so now it's fine now just turn on now this work so i need uh, this side also turn on y and go to edit mode select all press a it will select all things and Move a little bit like this. In top view, I'm going to uh, my focus is like this or not okay, like like this. Okay. So I'm going to this. Uh, this is fine. Then, then I'm going to add more cube and keep here and set to scale lock the z-axis like this after that press 7 top view press yes lock x y axis and scale like this so then go into edit mode select the faces all faces and press yes uh, lock the y, y x axis so scale like this it's fine so now i'm going to reset this scale and position so turn off the x-ray mode then uh, control J and here just uh, select all transform it will clear the all history so now uh, this pivot point is here so I, I, I want to be here so just uh, right click and set origin to geometry so then uh, like it so sorry i need to clear this location also you can manually type here uh, uh, zero you just select both and select zero it resetted this one too so 
so like this can manually edit but uh, control G. we need this position so control all all transform now we reset everything so now go to add mirror modifier and change it by so then i'm going to edit mode and duplicate this one and right click after that just rotate press 90 and will rotate proper then turn off the y turn off the x now it will come like this is fine so now press p to duplicate this one sorry uh, separate this separate this one then after that you just uh, side this and press y now it is connected now so, Same thing, select this one and this and shift T duplicate and right click and in front view just move like this. Fine. So yeah, click this one and press go to edit mode and select the face you can press 3 also the shortcut is 3 and select the face yeah this is, uh, I select the face and move like this and has it is here also can select all and press yes and lock the y axis and you can increase scale like this okay it's okay for me so then i'm going to give the bevel modifier so then just add and add bevel View distance like this, and I'm going to add one more segments. Fine, then right click and add shades mode. Okay, okay. And here add some bevel modifier and you like this here this is okay and same thing you just add bevel modifier and just give the one Select add uh, modifier. Select all. Uh, then press yes. And lock the x-axis and move a little this is ok then I 
then I'm going to add I'm going to add X mark like this okay so I'm going to add the Q yeah, I'm press that to top and press yes and then lock the y axis uh, as well as x axis so we can scale like this we can same time we can lock the two axis like this then s axis and s or x axis like this okay then press press yes press y Just to scale y axis like this for z axis rotate need a little bit more okay then now rotate then press here yes lock the z axis the axis is straight so change the local so then press yes and the z-axis like this a bit more okay ah, this will go up and move a little bit like this me like this okay then i'm going to uh, clear the location rotation on scale so control a and clear the all transform then press one and add modifier but we need uh, some gap so I'm going to apply this then select single face and press L and move this up. then select all and like this and press yes and y scale like this like pin okay select all then okay this is fine same thing i'm going to add mirror and choose this one change to white yes silver so after that i'm going to fill this up so i need like this steel so i'm going to duplicate this duplicate this duplicate like this so i'm going to add a uh, cube uh, 
and scale like this after that press yes lock the y axis still work so then like this it's fine so then then had add one more loop center and yet add one loop and loop cut just give number of cut is 2 and press yes lock the axis now i'm going to change the global then press yes lock the axis and scale it will come like this so here just select and uh, bevel this can do like this same process but uh, we, we are here i'm doing the bevel okay so it's okay then i'm going to select this loop and control side the side just and select these two two faces then I can just uh, press delete and faces so now just need to fill this up like select the vertex press f will automatically fill then select this two vertex then press f again press f so it's done then press yes sorry uh, select the Four vertex and press F. After that, just select two vertex and press F again. Press F. This is fine. So then I'm going to clear this transform on location and everything. So Control A and clear the whole transform. So now I'm going to give some bevel. So add modifier and bevel. Just give hormone 0 0.01. It's fine. So then just I'm going to move like this. Then I just uh, Control A, clear the all transform. Then add array modifier and give some distance. One, three, four, six. But distance is very less. Press one, can see the distance. This is fine. Okay, so then uh, I'm going to add cylinder shape here, like like this. Okay, like, like this. So then, okay, um, in 3D cursor, just select 3D cursor. And I'm going to select here. Then uh, shift A, add cube. Then sorry, not cube. Uh, just add cylinder. Then scale like this. So. 
some this fine thing so then uh move in the taxis this fine and i don't need this part and press press f sorry plus delete out delete to select face then this part we i'm going to speed this part so press p and up faster this one i need to fill this like uh, press f press p and selection now it's splitter so then i'm going to move like like this then here this one uh, And just select all and press high and keep this and press M and at center so then uh, just add solidify and give the thickness this is enough and add some bubble modifier so like this add one more segment so then just uh, give the auto smooth fine so then just down a little bit like this okay so now we just select this now just select one face and select another face then there is the handy technique like uh, control shift to plus repeat the selection process so now now we just press y now it's splitted everything so you can just try it will move separately so now i'm going to add some bevel then solidify just uh, drag this up now if you try to give this a uh, thickness and in bevel just amount you just try 0.01 is fine so before that i'm just uh select the select the object and control a there the all location rotation everything now uh just increase the thickness is fine this is fine now so then i'm going to add roof so i'm going to add roof so pd cursor you can use a shortcut is shift to right click you can uh, move the your pd cursor so i'm going to add the pd cursor here so then i'm going to press shift a and add phone and then radius 1 can give some radius like this then radius 1 you can increase the width bottom and here you just give nothing so I just give the radius like this then yep. it's fine 
Co znów? Jeszcze Reddit mode and select select the this select the select the start of this loop and press E2 extrude then then right click and press yes to scale like this okay we need like this then 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 press E2 lock uh, extrude then press the to lock the axis so now he just tried to extrude and press right click and yes to scale and then press m to match this so now we just select this loop and add some bubble control b like this and so you can add here to add some bubble is fine so then you just select the loop then extrude and lock the z axis is fine so then press he again and right click and press yes to scale inside yep. select all and press one front view and back to down Work. so then I'm going to add some bevel control B so then right click add shade smooth then I'm going to add some loops here and there is a shortcut just control uh, control hard and build up build down you can increase or decrease your loops this is fine so now come to object mode now it's not clear So then I'm going to add pipes here. We just uh, select this object and need more in X-ray mode. Just select the loop and shift D to duplicate this one and right click and move a little bit then press p2 separate this and select those and just uh, scale a little bit like this then uh, turn off the x-ray mode then i don't need the solidify modifier and i'm going to turn off this level to scale like this then I'm going to convert this in curve modifier like just convert like curve then curve we go to geometry then add some dip like this we just scale like this you can add some uh, subdivision surface so then add shade smooth now like this you can manually scale press yes and lock the axis 
can see this will work like this so you can now I uh, can reduce the thickness yeah. this is fine and go go to edit mode and select all and press T to duplicate and press G axis and move move track to up like this then can move this is fine Okay, it's done. Then I'm going to add right, so here I'm just I'm going to add a simple plane. Go to edit mode and select all and just Merge it center now uh, and this is a single vertex so now just to keep here plus seven top view so this is fine so now I'm going to extrude this and press x axis lock uh, lock x axis then uh, then again press T extrude and press G axis and go to bottom she to touch on the ground uh, okay now here I just press he to extrude this and press the axis it's going inside and now select this this is fine so now press two things then uh, control bevel it won't work so I'm going to give control shift to B bevel like this add some more points that's it fine then I'm going to uh, reset transform all transforms then then I'm going to convert this to curve then in, in bevel you just give some depth Yeah, this is fine. So just to give shade smooth. Okay. Now I'm going to do lidar like so press three the side view. Then I'm going to add okay once again. So just click the 3D cursor to here and I'm going to add cube and press S to scale like this. After that you just go to edit mode and select those way top vertex and select this like this. And this is too much big like uh, I'm going to scale like this oh, this is fine so now I'm going to adjust back to bottom this will work so now I'm going to reset all transform and press 3 and set origin to geometry Sorry, uh, ready. Mm, select those and then select the geometry uh, and go like this. Uh, I'm going to keep here 
and 50 duplicate this one and this distance is five okay ah, this is five so then i'm going to duplicate this again then keep it center and press this to scale like this so then rotate 90 degree like this and keep here and just press yes to uh, lock the y axis and scale it still work and uh, need a less step so or else you just uh, select this face back side face then press uh, sorry press y x to scale like this so so i'm just keep here to top it's fine so then i'm going to duplicate this so set origin to geometry okay then then shift it duplicate and uh, press g and press z lock the axis and keep distance like this then then shift or rotate the transition like this yep this is okay and i'm going to add this camera press h then so now select all and uh, i'm going to move this in on collection press m and give new collection if you want name give name you can give just give it okay so now i one collection so now i'm going to uh join this control j so first we need to select the selection object so select all now select one object okay then Control J will join and Control A play the transform and keep to origin to geometry. Now I'm going to update like this. So I need some scale, so I'm going give like this. Select all, keep everything is like this. Okay, then more like then this one. Go to edit mode and press G and la plug G axis and keep like this. So um, that's it. Uh, I finished the modeling. So then. I'm going to add on plane. So uh, before that, I'm going to reset the 3D cursor. Shift S and cursor to go direction. And I'm going to add one plane. And I'm going to scale like this. Just make sure everything touch on the ground. So. Yep. Work and here I'm going to give some modification. So then I'm going to remove this. It's not needed now. 
I'm going to underneath these loops press delete and dissolve edges and then add modifier give some subdivision so now it's like smooth Still work and yep, that's it. If you like this video, please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.